Welcome back to the 92 Mesh Group uh, Chalk Talk Series. This is Coach Coulthard out of North Carolina. And um, tonight I thought I would talk to you a little bit about um, one, of, one of my favorite plays. Uh, we've had a lot of success with it over the years. Uh, and, and I'm sad to say that we really don't run it as much um, as probably we should. It's, actually, it's not even in the... Um, it's not even in the three-day install right now, and, um, and and the reason why is I, I just found that I wasn't calling it enough, even though it's one of my favorite plays. Um, you know, I, I just didn't call it enough, and, and I will tell you that if you really want to learn how to run this play, like, perfect, go over to um, Coach Joe Salas' channel, and he has a video on it. It's, it's called His Favorite Pass Play, and, um, you know, he... He, taught, he teaches this play as good as anybody I know. And so the play we're going to talk about, um, I learned it, when I first learned it, and we called it seven. Um, seven and nine. Don't ask me why we called it seven and nine. Um, but I've actually changed it. I call it 65 now. Um, because it's it's kind of like, you know, we go 61, 62, 63, 64, and then we go 66. Um, you know, we don't really have 66, but then we have 68, 69. So we have 66, 67 is another group. Uh, and that's really the outside seams that we don't run a lot. And then 65 is what we call slant. And, and so slant for us is it's the only mirrored um, pass play in the quick game that we run or I run. Um, some of you guys may, may do it a little differently. And if you've, if you've purchased the Total Air Raid system, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, just wanted guys to let you know that I've, I've had some questions about different pieces of it. So what we've done is we've opened up pieces of the Total Air Raid system where you can just purchase the quick game videos or, or just purchase the drop back videos or just purchase the screen videos for a way reduced price. I think the drop backs are $19.99 and I think the, the screen and the quick games are like $9.99 a piece. And then, you know, you can apply the 1776 USA 25% off coupon to those as well. So, you know, you can get the quick game series for what, seven bucks or something like that if you wanna you want to check that out and see if that's something that you would like to look at. Um, we also have separated it to the, what we call the strategic series and the tactical series. Um, the tactical series is just all the plays from the Total Air Raid system. And then the strategic series is the install, how to do it, the concept, uh, behind things and how to run practice and stuff like that. So those are two, um, and those are $59.99 a piece, and you can look at those and also use the coupons and those if you just want bits and pieces of, of the whole system. But I just can't thank you guys enough. The system's doing great. Um, the reviews have been have been good so far. Everybody's really enjoyed it, and I can tell you that it was a lot of work, but I really appreciate you guys supporting that endeavor. All right, so let's talk about 65 or slant. So the progression, and you know I always talk about this, the progression the progression on this is going to be slant, slant, shoot. Okay, so we run slant, slant, shoot. And, and so basically both sides, outside receivers, are running slants. Both inside guys are running shoots. Okay, and then we're going to six-man block this up in there with a ram line call and all that other good stuff. Now... Here is what we do. We teach X and Z, the slant guys, to slant to grass. And so, you know, if he has the diamond release because he has press, he'll outside release and come back in. And then what we do is teach them to go sit in a hole. It could be the first window. It could be a second window. If it's man coverage, he'll just keep running. So that's, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of how that works. And so what the quarterback does is he finds the best grass and he works away from it. So let's say this is the wide side of the field. He has a lot of space over there. He'll start off with this slant. Then he'll move to that slant. And then that's his shoot. So he'll go slant, slant, shoot. And, and, and what we teach them is to catch the ball one step and then fast feet here. And we're just wanting him to rotate slant, slant, shoot. And then we just teach the receivers, go sit down in the hole. Don't, and, and, and here, um, here, here's kind of what the, the, the coaching point is, is, you know, don't run yourself covered. Don't do that. Don't run yourself covered. Stay away from danger. It does you no good to run into the drop of the inside linebacker. Don't do that. So tell them, hey, look, go find some grass and sit in it, bro. That's the big thing about air raid. I had a good discussion with a 
with a coach out of the Raleigh area, him and I go way back, and we were talking about some things, and, and, and we got into this kind of discussion back and forth over text message about the difference between reading people versus reading grass and how it's actually the same thing. It's just semantics. And, and I told him, I said, like, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. But the concept to the kids is so much easier when you talk about grass because I'm going to tell you something. There's only one guy on the football team that you want to date your sister. And that's the guard, because guards never lie. And defensive coaches know exactly what I'm saying. Guards never lie. But everybody else, you can't trust them, jokers. So if you're telling a kid to read a safety, if that safety gets a bad key, the quarterback's going to get a bad key. You know, so the only only guy that you want on the whole football field to date your sister is a guard. Comments down below if you were a guard and nobody wanted to date you, and, um, and it kind of hurt your feelings. Uh, your boy knows all about that, trust me. But uh, anyway, so we're going to go slant, slant, shoot on that deal. Um, if we go three by one, we'll double slant, and then we'll still work backside, and we generally don't throw the inside slant. We let that be the clear out. Now, what's a little tag off of that? Obviously, we can run sluggos, and we can run wheels off of that. So 65 sluggo or 65 wheels is not a bad little gig on that. So, hey, listen, if you want to learn a little bit more about um, – about some of our quick game stuff, or if you have any questions about how we uh, how we talk about not running ourselves into coverage and sitting in grass, and or maybe you want to understand the difference between reading people and reading grass, hit me up in the comments down below. Like the video. If the video will get 50 likes, then uh, then we'll talk about the difference between reading grass and reading people. But until then, spin it to win.